And one week until the midterm election, a new poll suggests a key group that often sits out voting could turn out in record numbers. Voters aged 18 to 29 set the age group's national record in 2018, which was a good year for Democrats when they won Wisconsin and the U.S. House. Jason Calvi explains what young voters' turnout could mean this year. Early voting in Battleground, Wisconsin. I think it's really kind of a powerful feeling. Milwaukee opens up early voting at the UW Milwaukee. Among the people I'm closest to, I can say that they are very, very interested in this election. UWM junior Marshall Hoff could be in the minority. U.S. Census data reveals 36% of 18 to 29 year olds voted in 2018, and that was the midterm record since the country lowered the voting age to 18 in 1971. In the 2014 midterm, it was 20%. Young people always turn out less than their elders do. A new national poll finds 18 to 29 year olds are showing the same interest as they did in 2018. Harvard's Institute of Politics finds 40% say they'll definitely vote on November 8th. I voted Dems all the way up and down the ballot. Of the likely young voters, the poll finds they prefer Democrats for Congress 57% to Republicans 31%. But 12% say they're undecided. They haven't established a lifetime pattern of always voting or always not voting. And that means that a lot of young people will make up their minds to vote or not here in the last few weeks or even few days of the campaign. Marquette pollster Charles Franklin says the sample size of young voters in his October poll was 57 people. Too small to gain insights on how they'll vote. It's always been a challenge to reach young people, as any parent of a uh, young adult knows. Wisconsin Elections Commission data show about 22% of Wisconsin registered voters are aged 18 to 34. Young voters this year are about the same percentage that were registered in record-setting November of 2018.